Uh, good morning, my name is Tom McClooney. I'm one of the chef lecturers at Southeastern Regional College. Uh, today we're going to be making some pancakes. So, what I have here in this bowl, we've got uh, 200 grams of self-raising flour. Uh, we've also got in there a pinch of salt and we've got uh, 100 grams of castor sugar. To that we're going to add two beaten eggs, uh, which we have in here. And we're using uh, just regular milk, uh, full fat milk, uh, roughly about a quarter pint. Okay, so I'm going to start putting this together. This is super easy. Um, they also, they will mention as well as the pan before I start. Uh, we've got a lovely non stick pan. This is a, 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 also known as a crepe pan, but it's, it's a fairly new pan, non stick. Don't try, don't try these at home with it if you haven't got a good pan, or otherwise you're just going to end up with a, a mess on your, in your pan. So, a nice pan on a very, very low, low, gentle heat. Don't have the flame. Uh, very high, otherwise the pancakes will burn as soon as they hit the as soon as they hit the pan. So a nice, nice low, nice low heat. Okay, so we're going to basically uh, just lightly, lightly beat the eggs, just to combine them. We're going to mix that in with the self-raising flour, the sugar, and the salt, and we're going to start whisking in the milk. And what we're looking for is a nice. Uh, smooth uh, batter that doesn't have any lumps and you don't want it to be too thick and you also you don't want it to be too thin uh, too thick just isn't good and again this is done in a few seconds you've got your ingredients uh, you can have this done in a couple of seconds and you just want to make sure that all your flour in the bottom is combined with your milk so if you can see that there that's quite, that's quite thick still I'm going to add another little touch of milk in, just to loosen up that batter. So with pancakes then, obviously you can serve pancakes as they are, you can serve them with you know, a squeeze of lemon, some butter, uh, if you want you can drop a few blueberries into your, into your mix, um, you know people like their, their pancakes with the syrup, just basically you do it whatever way you want. Okay, so we're almost there. That nice smooth batter. I'm just going to add lump, one more little touch of milk in. And again, just judge it by the eye. You know, look at it. If it looks too thick, add a little more milk in. Um, just don't make it too thin. Okay, so I think we're there now. So if you can see that there. That's just a nice consistency for, for your batter. I'm just going to get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. Okay, so back to the pan. If your pan's too hot, as soon as your pancake, your, your batter mix hits that, it's going to burn. If, uh, if it's too low, then it'll sit there and won't do anything. So just make sure your pan's at a nice, just a nice even heat. Uh, I've got two sizes of ladles here. So depending on the size of your pancake, so if you want a bigger pancake, use the bigger ladle. If you want a smaller one, use the smaller ladle. And that helps you measure out as well. So it means that every pancake is the same size and you're not guessing each time you're putting it into the pan. So I'm gonna go for the slightly bigger one today. And Pull your ladle up, level it off, and you're gonna Straight out into your pan. Make sure all that batter comes out. Okay. Now, the secret is now is just to leave it. Don't touch it. People make the mistake of trying to move it too soon. Let the let the batter find its own way, and then just let it sit. Uh, if your pan's at the right heat, you should have a perfect color on the other side. Uh, we're looking for these little bubbles starting to form on the top. Once those bubbles start to form, then you know that the pancake is cooking nicely underneath. We haven't put any butter or any oil or anything into the pan. If you've got a good non-stick pan, you shouldn't need it. And once that batter hits there, it should seal underneath, and then it's just a matter of flipping it over and getting it out onto the plate and taking it away and enjoy. At this stage, I'm just going to take a little. Little lifter, 
just going to go around the outside very gently. And I'm just going to make sure that that is loose, it's not stuck. Again, you can make these make these in advance as well, and then we can come on later on whenever you're going to use them. But it is quite fun when you're doing with the family and the kids, you know, do them live, and then you can try and do a bit of pancake tossing as well. Okay, so I'm going to ready. I'm ready for the flip. I've had a quick peek underneath there. It's a nice color, and let's go. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. So that's the colour you're looking for. It's not too dark, it's not too pale. And again, what is that, about two minutes roughly on that side. Once you flip it over, then roughly the same on the other side, because you just want to make sure that that pancake is, is nicely cooked in the centre. You don't want to be opening it up and it's, it's raw. just to make sure she's not caught. And you can see that there with that nice non-stick pan then it's, 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 uh, it's cooked nicely. I'll do this. If you look on the other side then that's nicely cooked as well. There you are, and that's your first pancake for Pancake Tuesday. Thank you very much.